hey beautiful people my name is Michelle welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for stopping back again and if you're new to my channel hey girl welcome in today's video I'm just going to be getting ready for church so I'll be doing my makeup with you if you like the video I like the look that I created please give the video a thumbs up share with a friend subscribe to the channel also turn on your post notification bell that way you'll never miss an upload and I'll see you at the end of the video Okay guys, so let's get started on this face. So I'm getting ready to go to church today. It's Easter Sunday. Um, so first I'm going to prime with the e.l.f. primer. Power Grip primer. Face is already moisturized and stuff, you know. Put this... If you're an oily girl, please will keep your foundation. Make your foundation last longer. Okay. I think for today foundation, I'm gonna mix House Labs. I'm gonna mix House Labs with um, Maybelline Fit Me. Um, 356, warm coconut. Uh, one is slightly lighter than the other. I'm just gonna mix them together. And let's blend it out with my Juvia's Place brush that I've already used. I just push it in. No swiping. Stipple, stipple. Right. The Maybelline foundation is a more, it's a matte foundation while the um, House Labs is more dewy. So that should be like a good combination. I don't want to look too dewy. So that's why I mix them. Nice and flawless. And I'm going to take my Fenty um, Wear Even Concealer. Um, what's my shade? 390. Put that under here. down the bridge and center and chin and then I'm going to take my Too Faced in sand and put a little bit in the inner corner here just for a little extra brightness all right we're gonna use our thread beauty Concealer in 220. Con not concealer, contour stick. Right above the hollows. And then around the hairline. Draw one. Oh my 
my goodness. Did you guys see that? A piece of it just broke off. Right on my carpet. I'm just gonna put my brush in here and put a little bit down the sides of the nose. I cannot believe that just happened. I mean, I just have to stick it back in here. All right, we're gonna leave it like that for now. Weird, it just broke off like that. I can just stick it back in there. Hopefully, it doesn't fall out again. So you know the longer the um, Concealer sits the more coverage. I haven't spoken to you guys in a little couple days, but I don't know when my last video if I mentioned that um, your girl is at 2k subscribers About over a week now and I'm so 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 happy Thank you to everyone that you know Subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everyone that comments. I see you guys and I appreciate you guys Thank you for everyone that gave the thumbs up. Thanks to everyone. Thank you to everyone that share my videos with someone. I really, 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 really appreciate it. So I want to do a giveaway, but I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do where I could pick at least two people and, you know, give them a little something, something. So that's my plan. So I'm working on it. So I haven't forgotten about you guys. I did promise once I get to 2K, that I will do a giveaway. I mean, to some people, that's not a big accomplishment, but to me, it is. I've been, you know, consistent, and you know, I'm just trying to keep it up. Who knows, one day I could be doing this full time. That would be awesome. All right, so now we're just blending out the That might be better. Let's blend out the concealer. This is my Sheen sponge. You know what? It might be Shop Miss A. They have really good sponges and they're very, very soft. All right, blend out the forehead. I'm wearing a very springy looking dress. I'm trying to see what I'm going to do to these eyes. My skin may not may look a little rough because I think I used something that I was allergic to. So I have these like small little um, look like heat brushes, but I don't know what they are. But I'm working on it. I don't know what I used. All right, get in the corners. All right, make sure that your sponge is damped, guys. Always make sure your, your sponge is damped. You don't wanna blend out your face with a dry sponge because it's just going to take away your product. Alright, you're going to go back with your foundation brush and use that to blend out the edges of the concealer. Alright, I'm going to use my contour brush for my nose and just clean that up before I set it. Make sure you have no crease in. Before you set. I'm gonna set with my Black Radiant Setting Powder. A banana. I'm gonna dip our sponge in there. We're gonna take off the excess amount. 
on the back of the hand. I'm going to stretch your face like that. So you can get into the lines. Right? Let's um, make sure that the eyelids are creaseless also. Put a little bit over the, uh, the lids. I didn't set them as yet. Alright, let's continue setting under the eyes. I let you apply a little bit of time, okay? Because you don't want your under eyes to be cakey. We're going to set the smile lines, even though we didn't put any concealer there. Just for creasing purposes, okay? Set over the brows. I see that you guys like my brow tutorial. It's doing very well. And I appreciate that. You know, I try to make it very detailed because I think I get asked about my eyebrows more than anything else. I was like, let me do a detailed video. And you guys seem to appreciate it. And I appreciate that. All right, now that we set, I'm going to use now my puff and I'm going to go in and I'm going to put down put the, the powder down we're going to leave this here. This is just so when we do our eyeshadow, any fallout, this is going to catch it. So it won't be directly on your face. Just in case you're wondering why we put the powder down like that underneath the eyes. So it will catch anything that falls out. Therefore it won't be on your face and you can easily dust it off. It's going to fall on the powder. All right, put a little bit underneath the brow bone. All right, I'm gonna use my um, brush and just set under here. I'm gonna use this palette. I mean, why not? It's spring. Right? And I'm going to take this color right here. Nope. Right here. This one. And we're going to put that in the, into the um, transition area. I'm going to take this brush. do just one side today on camera so that we're not sitting here all day okay use this color this one this color we're gonna put that actually in our outer corner
me get a smaller brush. For more, more precise. sure I'm just kind of dragging it out like I'm doing a wing let me ask you guys would you prefer if I add music to my videos or no music a little background music you know so you guys won't be bored let me know and I'll do that I have done that before but you know I think I'm gonna take right, my dress have so many colors. I'm gonna try this green here. I don't know. If it's too much. Let's try this. It's called let's see if I can do it with my finger. I don't know if it's gonna be too much. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty. Wow. This is not as bright. Not too springy, but it's okay. Look at that, guys. Do you see that? Ooh. All right. Let me get a. A little brush here and see if I can get into the corner. And let's. I want to put like I'm going to put this color over that and see if it does anything. This one has like reflex of different colors in it. Let's put that on top. See if that even changed. Change anything. Is it? Eh, not really. Try with the finger. Not really doing much. He's doing a little bit, but not much. So did a little something, something. All right, all right. Let's go back with the dark shade and put it on the end. I'm gonna take it a little bit over this one, a little bit over the top, halfway here, not all the way in. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just marry these two colors together. I go back and forth in the middle so you can't see that line, right? I'm gonna use the transition color and go over the top of this one. I think we want to leave the line there so it kind of looked like we have a cut crease but not really that's pretty all right let's do the other one and I'll come right back okay okay guys we're done with the eyes um what I'm going to do is take this dark green color here and I'm going to put that under my um, lash line. First, before I do that, let me put on my 
eyeliner. I'm using Wet n Wild's black eyeliner. Okay, now let's go in with the green color. Almost look like it's black. I don't want it to be too dark under here. I feel like it's a little too dark. I'm gonna go in with a lighter green and like under here like that you know sometimes when you're doing your makeup you just have to play with the colors you know all right so that's a lighter green Okay guys, so I'm gonna um, do a wing. That takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> and put on some lashes and then I'll come back to finish off the face. Okay guys, so I'm back. I did my eyes. I, these are the lashes, kiss lashes. I hope you guys see them. Alrighty, and I put on some mascara underneath my bottom lashes. Now, let's set this face. Fenty Pro Filter 420. get a clean brush and we're gonna dust off underneath the eye I'm gonna push the powder in kinda as we're taking it away uh, brush off the nose All right, I'm gonna take Fruits Cosmetics Contour Palette. I'm gonna take these two colors and contour the face using this kind of angled brush. This is from, hmm, I don't remember. I think it's a brush set that I purchased somewhere. All right, I'm gonna contour the face. Anywhere you put the cream contour, okay? All right, I'm gonna get my, this brush and I'm gonna contour my nose.
make sure you brush up the sides when you do it. Blend. Blend up the sides. Blend in. Let's put on some blusher. Blush. This is a Patrick star one size cheek clapper we're going to use the peach color in the middle since the eyes are saying a lot we want the you know we don't want to use pink or anything we can but i don't think we should Okay. Let me use this um, Wet n Wild highlighter. So this is this face we use the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. So it's like a mixture. That's good. Right, I'm going to take this pencil brush and I'm going to dip into that and put it into my inner corner. Kind of fade in the front a little bit with this color so I can blend it with the green. Let's clean off this brush and then we put a little bit down the center of the nose. You need a steady hand when doing this because my hand is shaking a little bit because I'm hungry. I need some food. Okay. All right, guys, let's spray the face. Revolution Super Fix Super Hold <laughs> Mist in Spray. to cover your eyes so you won't get any blotches on your eyeshadow a bit more okay now we're gonna do the lips let's keep the lips kind of natural since We have a lot going on with the eyes. I'm gonna use the MAC chestnut pencil. And I need another one. You see how tiny that is? En Vogue from Juvia's Place. All 
right. I always go over my liner. Just like that. And then I'm going to take Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Let's see what I can get from it because it's almost done. As you can see, this kind of change the color of the lipstick, which is what I want. So it's not so bright. You can put a little bit more lipstick if you want. Just in the center. Put a little liner underneath the bottom lashes. I mean, a little mascara. Okay, so that's our face. Um, let's fix these brows, shall we? I want to make sure that whatever product is lifted with the foundation is always right there. Just the tail. Then I'm just going to fade out the front of the brow. All right, I'm just using the um, the NYX glue, the brow glue, and just, you know, to set the brow. Keep them in place. And that's it. That's the face. I'll come back and show you guys my outfit when I get dressed. Okay guys, we're all dressed and ready for church. So let me show you my dress that I'm wearing as promised. It's just a wrap dress that I got from Ross. Yeah. My makeup stuff is in the background. It's just a long dress. 
and I'm wearing these tied up shoes. That's it. Nice wrap dress. So And just like that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it was very easy for you to follow. If you love the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Happy Easter.